Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be talking about every single book I read this year, so far. It's the halfway point now. So I was just gonna do a video of like a quick review of all the books that I've read, but I saw people doing the mid-year book tag. I didn't even know it was a thing, so I'm gonna do that because I only read 16 books this year, so if I don't do that, it's gonna be like a very short video. I am a little bit but yeah, my goal for the year I think was like 50 books. I changed it. I think I changed it to 25. I think this beginning of this year I just was in a book slump. Like the whole beginning of this year. I'm gonna do the mini year book tag first, which is just some questions. And then I'm gonna speed through all the books that I read this year and like give mini little reviews so that it's fast. I can't believe I only read 16 books. Five of those books I read in the last like two weeks. So the first question is best book you read so far in 2023 that is very easy i have all my books stacked right here is this a good idea no because i'm gonna have to like pull them out but i did it anyway fourth wing by rebecca yaros i loved this shit so much why was this so good i moved my camera honestly i was like reading this and i was like you know like this book is so good i don't know if it's like one of my top favorite books yet and then after processing for weeks like the more i think about this book the more it becomes one of my favorite books of all time. I still cannot stop thinking about this book. I read it like maybe two and a half, three weeks ago. It's so freaking good. Best book I read all year. I love this book. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Obsessed. I cannot wait for the new release. Best sequel you've read in 2023. These questions might be a little hard because I didn't really read much. Did I read any sequels? Hmm. Literally, I've read like one sequel, so I only have one to choose from. Well, I have two because I read the second book and the third book, so I'm gonna go with third book in the mindfuck series i can't believe that's the only series i've read i literally don't even i read that at the beginning of the year i don't even remember new release you haven't read yet but want to no i just glitched once upon a broken heart what's the second book the ballad of never after that just came out recently right i want to read this series so bad i've heard it's very good but i'm waiting because I need the third book to be out. I can't start another series that isn't fully out yet. I can't mentally take it. I cannot do it. I just simply can't. Also, I just miss the feeling of like finishing a book and having the next book. And I haven't had that since I think Actar. I need that again, so I'm waiting. What else? Oh, Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. I still haven't bought that book yet. It came out like three, four days ago. I need to go to the store and buy it. I love her books so much. I literally was looking at my shelf because I have The Love Hypothesis and Love on the Brain. And I loved both of those books so freaking much. She writes good romance books. Also, I want to read the newest Magnolia Parks book. I think it's Daisy hates something something. I still haven't read any like I'm still on the first book but that's a new release that I want to read eventually so I will get there. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. The second book to Fourth Wing. I'm pretty sure it's called Iron Flame. That is my um, that is my most anticipated book. I'm so excited. The fact that she's releasing two in the same year brings me so much happiness. I love her for that. The third book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. What else? There's something else. What is coming out? I don't remember. This isn't like a new, new release, but they're releasing a collector's edition of The Cruel Prince at like Barnes and Noble, and it's so pretty, and I'm very excited. I know there's one more book that I'm excited that's being released, and I literally cannot think of what it is. Moving on. Biggest surprise. I'm just gonna go with biggest plot twist, because I don't know really what that means. I'm gonna go with love in other words. I don't even know if I have to say anything else. I wasn't expecting it and it hurt deeply. Other like other than the end of fourth wing, because I'm I i do not want to keep talking about fourth wing. So I'm gonna say love in other words, which is right here. But that ending fucking rocked my shit. Uh, favorite new author debut or new to you? Good question. To be honest, the only new author that I read this year that I liked. I like I um, I apologize. I didn't know all the answers were gonna be this. Becky Aros, even though it's one book, like she's one of my favorites. I didn't really read any other. Oh, Krissa Broadbent, I can say that. I read, I only read Serpent and the Wings of Night, which was good. I didn't even read the next one yet, but I read the novella thingy that comes after it and those were good. So Krissa Broadbent. And I have Daughter of No Worlds and I wanna eventually read that. So that's my answer. Newest fictional crush, Zayden. Zayden. Also, Elliot from Love and Other Words. Fucking cutest. Love him so much. He's the most wholesome, sweetest. Ugh. Love him. 
book that made you cry love and other words <laughs> the, literally the answer to these questions are all the same two books cried like a baby at the end of that shit i'm forgetting about a very key book in this thing i don't know how i did that i don't know why i keep thinking i read it last year book that made you cry also happy place the end of this tears book that made you happy happy place <laughs> that was the most bittersweet happy sad feeling at the end of that book like i felt like my life change this literally sounds actually crazy i felt like i learned things about myself and my life that i didn't that i wasn't accepting you know and while it hurt uh, this book just made me happy i did not read a lot of good books this year most beautiful most beautiful book you've bought so far this year i have my answer wait i bought this book i haven't read it yet i think this shit is so pretty i like everything about how it looks the back it, like they did it on this book they did it right the most beautiful book that i've purchased so far this year and sit on my shelf looking beautiful until i read it what books do you need to read by the end of the year a lot i have a lot i want to finish the ashes in the star cursed king i've read like 50 pages i read uprooted by naomi novik heard that gives cruel prince vibes and anything that does that i will read i want to read once upon a broken heart that whole series i want to read crescent city because i read the first one i didn't read the second one yet because i have no i don't remember at all what happened in the first book and i don't want to read it again so i found a video this girl's like talking about everything that happened in the book so i'm gonna watch that and then read the second book i want to read part of your world by abby jimenez yours truly by her as well love theoretic the theoretic theoretically can i speak i'm reading the shatter me series now i'm on the first book so i want to read that whole series there's so many more so we'll just We'll just end it there. That was a mini year tag. So now we're gonna go through starting the first book I read, starting in January, and go through all the books I read this year and talk about them and rate them. And end of last year, I read the first book in the Mindfuck series. So starting off this year, I read the second book. I gave this three stars. It's fine. Third book, four stars. It was better. I never finished the series. It was good, I just it got a little too graphic for me in the moment, so I put it down and I just never picked it back up. I do want to eventually finish it, but it was fine. Like, it wasn't anything where I was like, this is so fucking good. I mean, read it if you're interested. It was definitely an interesting plot line. The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I rated this four stars. I listened to this on audiobook. It was cute, but it felt like it was missing things. I honestly don't remember much. You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hoggle. Loved this book. Five stars. Great book. Highly recommend. Love them so much. Things We Never Got Over. Lucy Score. Three stars. Didn't like this as much as everyone else. So... I think I'm gonna be continuing the series. It's fine, I guess, for some people. It just wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't my preference. Two Wrongs Make a Right by Chloe Lees. Three stars. Had five star potential. The end sucked. Honestly, don't really recommend it unless you can get over third act breakups and certain bad plot things. I don't know. Didn't really love. It's literally downpouring outside. Oh, no, it's not even raining. It's just wind. Hail Mary by Candy Steiner. Three stars. I expected more. It was fine. I guess read it if you want a spicy sports romance. There was just a lot I didn't like about it. The Serpent in the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. 4.5. 4 I gave it this 4.5. I thought I gave it a 4. 4.5 out of 5. Loved the plot twist. Didn't see that shit coming from a mile away. Do recommend if you like fantasy. Six Scorch Roses. This was the novella that is supposed to be between Serpent and Wings and then The Ashes and the star cursed king so this was good i gave it three stars it was like a cute little novella we gave an info into the to some of the characters that are gonna be in the next book read it if you're if you're gonna read the first book happy place by emily henry five out of five loved this shit so much love these characters love the setting the setting is so good i want to go to maine it was a maine right love the group dynamic read it indigo ridge by debney perry i gave four stars 4.5 i'm changing that to four i listened on audiobook it was good we didn't get a like the mystery part was good didn't get a lot from the romance definitely enjoyable was expected a little more but still good fourth the wing by rebecca yaros five stars 10 out of 10 six six stars one of my favorite books dragons hot enemies so much more loved if you haven't already i know everyone's telling you to read it but read it the shadows between us two stars didn't really like this don't recommend a not so meat cute by megan quinn 4.5 out of 5 i enjoyed this i feel like it could be a 4.2 is that extra i'm like second guessing my ratings it was good i didn't like the like conflict part 
which you know is normal in these fucking books but where's my billionaire when is it my turn to run into a billionaire that will fall in love with me flawless by Elsie Silver. Three stars. I was expecting so much more because so many people love this series so much. It was fine. I don't like the whole like, I'm manly man. You are woman. Thing. Also, it was very like older parent who's trying to like say things that they think kids say. Well, the teens are saying this nowadays, aren't they? No, they're not. And if not today, Satan is in your book, I'm questioning. And also, facts no i didn't like it last love and other words by christina lauren ending off on a five star book love this book this book will stay in my heart i will not like this is one of those books where you are going to remember what happened and the characters and this book was good but it ripped my heart out oh my gosh the young now my favorite christina lauren book one of my favorite romances now loved everything read it cute wholesome romance so much love in this book it's fucking storming outside that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed let me know what your favorite book was this year see you guys in my next video bye so little books for six months what it is what it is i guess isn't it